Welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing this, it means I have already posted one Hot Ones video that was a little bit flawed, to say the least. I did swap my wings. We're still figuring out this video stuff out. But today, I will be doing a second round of the Hot Ones Challenge. If you watched my previous one, you will know that I accidentally swapped number eight, the bomb, for number four. And I think maybe in the plating process, I confused a couple of them accidentally. And so I think what I want to do is a redo just to give my honest review of these products. Honestly, the last time was a little bit of a challenge. I've been procrastinating all day on filming this. I think the last time I did this, my stomach hurt so bad and my adrenaline was shot. Although on second inspection of rewatching the footage, I think I might have actually done that in the right order, but I think because the, one of them was ghost pepper, I felt something get lodged into the back of my throat and that's when I just couldn't breathe anymore. So maybe it was in the right order, but I guess we're gonna figure that out today. For the record, I am doing season 21. I just ordered season 22 and that should be getting here in the next couple of days. So I decided to make this a little mini series of doing the Hot Ones Challenge because I'm a glutton for punishment and I wanted to do this the right way. So we're going to get started. For the record, I struggled very hard to find wings at any nearby grocery store and butchers everywhere I think told me they had trouble getting some. So we are using plant-based wings today. I have never tried plant-based wings, so we're gonna see how that works, which from the way that I've cooked and prepared them, it looks just like chicken tenders. Did you know that for like a year, I did not know that boneless wings were essentially just chicken tenders. I thought they actually removed the bone and somebody last year was like, you know, they're not actually wings, right? Well, that's false advertisement. Why would they even call it boneless wings? Just call it what it is, chicken tenders. Anyway, I'm also going to be answering some questions. We're going to get started. Are you ready? By the way, my friend is helping me navigate the cameras right now. She does not want to be featured on camera, which is standard for most of my friends, which is why I just do this by myself and have my friends help me in the background. And yeah, are you ready to do this? You also fucked up last time. You did do number 10 first. You know what, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the hot ones, classic chili maple. This is a standard tried and true. Let's see how these wings are. Oh, he woke up. I was, I was wrong. It's not real chicken, bro. You wanna try? Okay, not bad. They taste like oven made chicken breast. No, no, no. I don't, you know, it's not real chicken. Well, if the cats can't tell that it's chicken, maybe it is that good. Okay, we're moving on to number two the curry verde. And this one. It's a favorite, I already know. I plated it last time, it tasted delicious. You can smell the sauce as you're mixing it. It's, I love curry, so anything curry flavored is amazing. Mmm. This one's so good, I'll eat the whole wing. That's the other thing I did not do last time. I didn't eat the whole wing, I just had a, a, a tidbit. Let's move on to number three, the Krabby Shack Zesty Lemon Pepper. This one's super smooth, not very, um, I'm not noticing a kick there. Not, no. But since it's easy for me to talk, I'm gonna answer some of these questions. My favorite acting memory, without a doubt, hands down, will always probably be 
when I auditioned for a movie for the Coen Brothers, and I am a huge Coen Brothers fan, and it was for a serious man, and I got to meet the Coen Brothers. It, it came down to me and one other actress, or that's what they tell me. You never know in Hollywood. Everybody kind of lies to you and gives you bullshit all the time. So you just, this is what I was told. And they thought I was really funny. They laughed at my delivery and how I handled the script. And honestly, probably one of my proudest moments to make two of my idols that I've looked up to for a very long time. Laugh it away, I prepare to seem. All right, we are now moving on to number four. And this is the one that almost took me out last time. Or so we thought. It could have been number eight, but I swear it was it was actually this Chico Ghost. It's Chico Ghost. Terrified if I start choking. Somebody resuscitate me. No, DNR all day, every day. Just do not resuscitate. Let me die. But let's go. Chilla Lengua de Fuego. I mean, that's really good. That's really sweet. That's a chocolate one. This is chocolate ghost pepper. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> We've hit the turn. So. I really like that one, which makes me think maybe I did switch them last time. This is easier, going easier than I thought. Number five. Well, like. Be a long lifetime favorite. The Los Calientes Rojo. I'm rolling my R's better. Please don't come for me. This one's gonna be a 10 out of 10. These are chicken tenders. These aren't just tofu meat. That one's hitting top of my tongue. We good? Uh oh. Water soon. No, just alcohol. Just need the alcohol. Alrighty. We're we're not drinking the milk at all costs. Favorite sports memory? The one that comes to mind was Valentine's Day. In the time. Valentine's Day. The more I talk, the more it hurts. Now I get why this is hot. Hot ones is a. <sighs> Favorite sports memory. It's Valentine's Day, I want to say 2011, 2012. It was a Monday Night Raw. I'm a huge wrestling fan. My parents had bought me tickets for Christmas from the previous year, two months prior, to go to this Raw, because I loved Raw. They literally, I remember the Christmas gifts I got that year, my parents bought me a title belt, action figures, and two tickets to Raw. This is how much I watched and loved wrestling. I've gotten my entire family onto wrestling. I'll get anybody that's close to me on wrestling. You know how easy it is to get somebody to be a wrestling fan, show them Mick Foley's Hell in a Cell match. Show them Mick Foley's Hell in a Cell match. You buy them over instantly and then give them a little bit of context and they will understand. But back to the story. It was 2011 or 12. And it was just supposed to be like a Monday Night Raw. And it was the first time that The Rock had made a comeback in a long time, in like years. And I remember you heard, you heard his like intro I, I've never screamed so hard in my entire life of a, at a public sporting event. Like, I made an ass of myself. And I was ringside. I was ringside at this event, and I screamed my head up. Okay, we're moving on. Number six, the spiky. We're on the back half of this already. This is going a lot smoother than last time. Did we not coat these wings well enough? I mean, they're pretty coated. All right, the spicy shark. Here we go. Maybe I did take number eight first. Not terrible. <laughs> Are you struggling? <laughs> I'm 
one thing we don't know about you. Oh. Do I have to finish it? I guess we're gonna torture myself today. Ooh, it got really dark really fast. <laughs> First half is fun. I was like, oh, this is gonna be fine. Favorite movie soundtrack. Goofy movie. 100%. Without a doubt. You argue with me or disagree, I'll fight you. You're gonna be like Shaq, just no reaction. All right, number seven. Adobo Loco. Alpino Chico. I got this, bro. Got this, bro. Not bad. Uh oh. One went down the shaft. That's a shaft. I feel like the calmer you approach to this, are we doing the bomb next? Bread helps more than anything, to be honest. I will answer one more question because I don't know how much further I'm going to go. Still handling it better than last time. One thing we don't know about you. Speaking of wrestling, I used to train. I was used to train to be a, I really wanted to be a wrestler. I really wanted to be a WWE diva, still do. That dream's never gonna be off the table. Woo! All right. The moment of truth, the moment we've all been waiting for. Here goes, the bomb. Is this the bomb beyond insanity? The bomb. Oh, you're, you're in. I don't, I don't go in that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Handling like a champ this time. I'm gonna answer this question before it gets worse because I know how this is gonna go. Favorite current podcast and why? Hot ones, I've been been Fuck! Hot ones. I've been binge watching. Kill Tony, by far, hands down, the best podcast to have ever existed on this planet. That, I don't know how you could come up with a greater concept. I've, oh my God, stop. <laughs> Where did I put it? I've been meditating a lot. 
And the one thing I've learned is how much your brain can control the outcome and how you're feeling. I'm really trying to just find... Somebody's gonna make this a fucking meme. I'm never gonna post this. The other thing I realized about making this podcast, you don't see a whole lot of ADHD podcasts. You see a lot of like reels and TikToks and stuff because it's short form content. But I know why you don't see more. It's because you, uh, there's a bunch of ADHD pe people out there with half finished projects who just don't have. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I've just been over here gabbing to make myself feel more comfortable, and I see you visibly struggling. Oh my god. I know it's rough. It's rough, but we're on the back end. You know, I think this is a stamina thing. Like you could probably build up a tolerance to hot sauces. I am struggling. Like I'm not going to remember the last 30 seconds that just happened. I feel like I literally just dissociated. I couldn't handle it. Here we go. This one, alchemy peppers. I got food in my face. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Liar. Alchemy peppers, watermelon ghost. Here we go. I taste the watermelon. It's so sweet and yummy. It's a ghost pepper. that viral grape lady i'm just gonna start making random noises uh, 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 uh. right you want to just finish this get this fucking over with i'm done I remember. I got it. I'm not going anywhere. I need a second. I don't know if you could read it on my face. I need a second. My face is literally has turned to 130 degrees. I can't. I just need a minute. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna have a panic attack. This is not okay. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no! No, that didn't. Oh, that helped. That helped. That helped a lot. <laughs> that helped a lot. I didn't mean to touch my eye. That's like the number one no no. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. We're going number 10. Last dab. Just to show you, I didn't freaking forget. There we go. Here we go. I just wish you knew. <laughs> I might ask you to cut at some point. Oh my fucking god. There it is, the only thing that could help. 
Ice water. You want ice? Staying calm is the only way. Is by far the worst sauce known to man. <sighs> if you're wondering how long this process has been going on for, We've been standing here for 10 minutes without saying a word. We're really struggling. <sighs> it's not helping. It's not fucking helping. That was really rough. I don't even know if I want to make this a three-peat. Um, I don't know that I, I want to do that again. That was scary. The last dab, it's funny because they always finish it off so, so nicely and subtly at the end, which has always made me believe that the last dab wasn't going to be that hot because I always see people overreact on the bomb. Not for me. Mm -mm. The last dab. Mm -mm. Are you okay? Once again, I feel, I see why adding the hot ones to like standard interview questions becomes a thing because I talk so fast. This was 100% chaotic. Once I hit six, I, I, I instantly got reminded how much I hated this. Because, like, a couple days had passed. Like, oh, it wasn't that bad. We went through five. And four didn't hit me in the back of the throat, which now I'm kind of convinced that I was maybe in the right order. And that the ghost pepper, just when I breathed in, like, a piece of the ghost pepper went back into my throat, and that's why I choked. Because the bomb was still not the hottest one to me. The hottest one by far, no question, is the last dab. We'll put you in a fucking coma. Told my friend to keep cameras rolling and I bailed. I bailed on her. I needed to see if brushing my teeth helped. And it did. It did. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I want to see what I look like. I'm just gonna cut it. I'm so fucking mad right now.